Losing in week two, that result was considered an upset, but he's back again, so please don't fret. Now let's all say his name aloud. It's Cloud. This fighter is making his appearance for the first time, so I guess I have to come up with a corny rhyme. In a tale of sword versus fist, here we go again. Let's all welcome... Ken! What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Slackers, and welcome to another Amiibo Fight Night! Alright, we only did one of these last week, but I'm aiming for at least two of them this week, so uh, let's get off on the right start, shall we? So. Uh, real quick, if you don't know what's going on, I will throw the rules up on screen for you guys to read. So, um, very simple. Think of this as a season. So, if you know anything about sports, uh, basically a season, you'll go through each participant in the season. And there are 40 of these amiibos that are max level, level 50. They will go through this season having fought at least four fights throughout the season. And then to get into the you know end of the year playoffs... Uh, we'll take into a factor such as the win-loss record and uh, your lives remaining. And uh, somebody was asking last video uh, if we could see the updated standings. Stick around to the very end. I will have an updated version of that, and you guys will start seeing that at the end of the videos. But basically, these matches will consist of uh, 1v1 fights. It will be a 5-minute, 3-stock uh, set match with no items, only Final Destination and Battlefield variants for every stage. And then uh, the rest of the rules are up. If you want to read more, you can pause the video. But otherwise, let's get to tonight's fight card, shall we? So, match number one. Actually, before we get to that, uh, well, you see all the participants. But uh, we have the final four remaining participants who have yet to appear in the season. So this will be uh, uh, four of the Amiibos tonight will be their first appearance in the season. So we'll see how they do. But uh, up first, matchup number one, we have Ike taking on Isabel. Ike ended up facing a smaller opponent in uh, his first matchup in Pichu. Uh, won that one 1-0, one so uh, facing another smaller opponent here in Isabel. We'll see how that plays out. Isabel being one of the Amiibos that uh, will be making her first appearance tonight. Up next, we have Ice Climbers taking on Marth. So uh, I believe this is Marth's first match as well. Uh, so I'm always curious to see how they're going to play out, especially in their first match. Matchup number three for the night is going to be Shulk taking on Bayonetta, and I believe this is also Bayonetta's first match for the season. In matchup number four, we have Donkey Kong taking on Palutena. I remember Donkey Kong came off a loss against Bowser in week one, so let's we'll see if he can uh, punch back in uh, this week and maybe pick up a W. And then in the main event for the evening, we have Cloud taking on Ken Masters, or just Ken if you prefer it that way. But uh, the with that out of the way, let's jump right into the action for the evening. All right, both Amiibos are scanned in. Let's get to the actual Amiibo fight night. I'm excited. I'm excited. I say this every episode, and I say this every episode. I'm actually excited because I thoroughly enjoy these. These are fun to watch. It's a way for me to evaluate my Amiibos and how they were trained and uh, just kind of see how they play out. And if I'm not liking what they do... Maybe by the end of the season, if somebody's 0-4 and, and they just don't seem like they... Maybe if they just seem like they need more work, then I, I take that into consideration. And I might end up maybe just redoing the Amiibo altogether or maybe just continue training. We'll end up seeing, but uh, should be fun. Ooh, Isabel striking first. Again, uh, I'm going to try to break down uh, support spirits that each Amiibo has. Uh... Let's see, I know Ike has a uh, uh, weapon and uh, movement speed increase, so he's very powerful. He's going to hit very hard. So, you know, a couple good smash attacks, and that could be the end for uh, Isabel. Uh, Isabel, on the other hand, obviously she's one of the actual newest amiibos. Ike hitting the final smash. I don't think this is going to be enough, though, to get the uh, elimination. Okay, never mind. Psych, it was. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. But uh, Isabel being one of the newest Amiibos to actually release for Smash Bros. And she was a pain to find, by the way. I ended up finally being able to uh, track one of her down. Oh, I dodges the final smash. Beautifully, nicely done. But I was finally able to track down an Isabel Amiibo and boom. Snatched snatch that right up. Bought it. Ah, uh, loved it. 
But uh, as for her support spirits, um, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, that's, that sounds bad. I actually do not remember. I coming back on stage though, so oh well. Maybe if Isabel's in a uh, a, uh, a main event, we'll kind of break down what she's got. But right now, I, yeah, we're just gonna move past that. So back to the fight. Coming up on about three minutes remaining, both fighters at two lives remaining. Ike at all, almost uh, now over 150% damage. And there goes Ike. Isabel's up 2-1. So, again, um, there will be a lot of Amiibos that finish the season with, like, the same record. There you go. Ike striking back. Pretty much, here we go, even. 1-1, one, 0% one, damage. Well, before those, a few attacks. But there we go. Uh, but, yeah, so tiebreaker for the season. That's why I, uh, I have the uh, lives remaining, and that's going to be a big thing. So, like I was saying, Amiibos are going to have a... Ooh, there's a final smash. De that one's definitely not getting the elimination, but at least you get some damage there, Ike. At least you get some damage. But, um, so, lives remaining are, is going to be a huge factor uh, for, uh, you know, tiebreakers and whatnot. Oh, uh, there's a final smash. Isabel just picked up this win. Isabel just picked it up. There he goes. Isabel picking up a win in her first fight of the season. Good job, Isabel. Nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah, she does. There she goes. Looking proud. Nicely done, Isabel. Ike will fall to 1-1 one one on the season. So Isabel will now be 1-0 oh with one life remaining. So that's just how that stat goes. And again, at the very end of the video, you will see an updated version of the standings. So that means we have to move to matchup number two for the evening. This one should be... A bit interesting. Ice Climbers, one of my more favorite characters. So happy they returned. So happy they returned as well as, well, just everybody returning. That was awesome. So, Ice Climbers taking on Marth. Uh, quick little side note. I have not been able to use Ice Climbers as much as I want. I've been kind of distracted. And I've just been playing with a lot of other, you know, quite a few of the new characters. Ridley, King K. Rule quite a bit. Incineroar somewhat. Um, I was like, what are they doing? They just sat there. But, uh, you know, Bowser's been, like, my main character since Melee. Uh, I've been playing with him quite a bit, King DDD. So I haven't quite gotten back to Ice Climbers uh, as much as I'd like to. Uh, so I'm I'm pretty keen on watching how they do and how they can perform. Just kind of seeing if I need to, you know, up anything. Uh, if I need to retrain them. If, uh, you know, just whatever it is. So keen on that and of course we all know Marth's playstyle pretty quick sword user uh, we'll see how Marth goes usually one of the better all around characters for Smash so uh, yeah not not incredibly difficult to play uh, but I mean you still gotta know how to play him at least you can't just go in and fight him and be like alright yeah I, I just know how to combo with Marth and everything there goes Nana so Popo is gonna be at a big disadvantage right here no Oh, that just missed. That was just out of range. Wow, that was lucky. That was lucky. But, um, yeah, so Popo's going to have to watch out here. Not going to have, like, next to zero recovery here. Oh, just missed again. Keeps dodging, not hitting any attacks. We don't like this roll game. Can some, one of you have to, like, like play offense here. One of them has to play offense. One of them has to play offense. Ooh, perfect shield. Nice hit by Popo right there. But uh, let's br let me uh, try to break down the uh, support spirits that I remember. Uh, so Ice Climbers had a uh, weapon. Ooh, nice. Ice Climbers had weapon, uh, you know, because hammers and swords, that counts as weapons. So that is uh, increased with attack power. And then, um, well, there goes Ice Climbers. But uh, they also have, and then there goes Marth, striking right back. Evened it up. 2-2 two -two now. Let's see what happens. But uh, uh, also with the... Uh, the what was I just saying? The uh, the weapon damage also has ice, water, and ice attacks. Well, basically, they're ice, they're neutral, and then they're down special as well. So, uh, yeah, that comes into play. We'll see how well it works. And, of course, Marth. Uh, I know for a fact weapons definitely gave him a weapon increase in damage. Don't remember what else. I know there's a, there's a second one on Marth. I don't remember if I have a... I don't think I have a third one on Marth yet. There's actually quite a bit of Amiibos that I do not have three support spirits on. I'm still kind of like figuring some things out, you know, seeing if I want to go with all like just increased for like their strengths or if I want to try to like maybe uh, use a support spirit to increase, you know, like improve one of their weaknesses for, well, there's the final smash. 
Oh, ice climbers. Nicely done. I like to see that. But uh, but what I mean by that, so uh, take, for example, like Little Mac. You know, we all know his jumping is absolutely atrocious. So potentially, you know, putting maybe jump power. Maybe that goes higher. Uh, maybe adding a third jump. Oh, Final Smash connects. Not enough to eliminate. Ice Climbers back on stage. Marth getting back on as well. Ice Climbers went for the up air. Missed it. They need to connect something. I they, I mean, they, they got one life somewhat to spare right now. So, again, though, you don't want to just kind of come down to 1v1. It, I'm talking about Amiibos like they know what I'm talking about. But, you know, they want to get that... Uh, you you want to see them get the, uh, you know, the, the plus two or the plus three. You know, a clean sweep or something like that. Because, again, that's going to come into a factor. That's going to be a big thing. Because uh, at the end of the season, you're going to have a ton of Amiibos that will have the same record. Whether it's 2-2, two 1-3, and two, one and three, whatever it might be. Did they just... Ice Climbers just throw in a little taunt right there? What was that about? I don't taunt with characters anymore. I made that mistake once with a character. I'm not doing that ever again. Like, I would taunt after an elimination. And the uh, Amiibos started picking up on that. But they started doing the taunts, like, in the middle of random moves. Uh, they'd hit you with, like, a down throw into, like, a forward smash, and then just taunt. And I'm like, what are you doing? You only got them up to, like, 30% damage. Why are you taunting after that? So, yeah, I will never make the mistake ever again of training in Amiibo and taunting. Oh, no, Nana's gone! Uh-oh, this could have just evened things up for uh, Martha right here. He's got a good chance right now. One good smash attack. One good attack, though. Oh, almost. Almost Marth coming back. Ice Climbers, you gotta follow that up. Gotta follow that up, Ice Climbers. And done. Nicely done, Ice Climbers. Picking up a W. Picking up a W. So Marth is gonna start the season. They win. Oh, controller. <laughs> but uh, Marth's starting the season 0-1. All right, congrats to Ice Climbers getting that dub. So we get to move on to match number three now. This should be fun. This shall be fun. All right, go back to here and let's scan him in, shall we? Matchup number three has my boy Shulk. And, and I'm going to be completely honest. I think I need to keep working on Shulk or even rework him. So potentially for next season, I don't think Shulk will be in there because I'm going to try to rework him. I'm not sure if I'm really digging how he turned out. I mean, it's all right. It's all right, but... I think there's a lot of room that I can still improve on and add to and that sort of stuff. So we'll see how I'll see how Shulk goes. But I believe Oh, I don't remember. Did Shulk get a win in his first matchup? Uh well, I I don't remember off the top of my head. That's embarrassing. It's my season and I don't even remember. Shulk, where are you going? Come back here. Ooh, dodging. Nice. Waited. Like it. Baited it out a little bit. Oh, got one for the up air. Did not hit it. There you go. The, or was that the up air? That might have been just uh, neutral. Ooh, missed again. Shulk coming back on stage. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, Bayonetta. Ooh, that's a big hit. That's a big hit by Shulk. Uh, but yeah, Bayonetta's first match. So let's see if she wants to uh, come back on to, uh, you know, come back or start off the season with a win. Of course, everybody wants to, but it's just a matter of can you? Can you? We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, uh, I've never said this, but um, for Amiibos at the end of the season, the ones that kind of finish towards the bottom, maybe it's... Oh, there's a final smash. She going to take advantage of it? Yep. Kind of. Shulk's still in it. Shulk, he survives. Ooh, missed it. There's the throw. And then the combo forward. Oh, come on. That's where I want the forward air. The down throw to the Ooh, Shulk coming up big time right now. I'm still saying, though, I, I, I honestly feel that I need to... Still work on Shulk a bit. There's the final smash. Hey, pick up damage. You never know one good attack will eliminate him at, at this damage. So pick up all the damage you can right now. Don't waste that final smash. Even though it is something I don't use, uh, I don't uh, train him. Oh my god, you just got disrespected. You just got disrespected, Ike, or Shulk. Ike, pfft, wrong character, bro. Ike already had his match. Oh my goodness. All right, but uh, Shulk is putting himself into a good position here. Pick up and eliminate, get the very next elimination, and hey, plus two, that'll be big, uh, could come into a factor. Like I said, lives remaining is gonna be a big thing for uh, for tiebreakers. It's gonna be a big thing. There's the uh, there's the final smash again. 
Bayonetta, you gotta take advantage. Gotta take advantage. Missing everything. Shulk's in slow motion. It's just... He's in slow motion and you can't even beat him. Can't even beat him. Shulk looking mighty good right there. It is a good result for Shulk. Nicely done. I still feel like I need a bit of work. I'm being completely honest. I'm, I'm not, like, sarcastic on this. I really think I need to keep working on him. I feel I could be better with Shulk, but... Well, to, well, that might happen at the end of the season. So, that brings us to match number four for the evening, which has Donkey Kong, like I stated at the towards the beginning of the video, who lost to Bowser in the week one main event, taking on Palutena. So let's see who can uh, let's see who gets this one. And again, off the top of my head, I don't remember if Palutena has a win or not. I should look this stuff up. Uh, we'll see all the standings again at the very end of the video. We'll see how it plays out, or uh, all the standings and that sort of stuff, so. All right, Donkey Kong. All right, let's see if you can uh, come back, because uh, I think Bowser won, did he win 1-0 or 2-0? Because Bowser beat him, like I've stated that a couple times. I don't remember if it was 1-0 or 2-0. Bowser's probably my best amiibo, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, like I, I, even, <laughs> I even stated this early. Bowser's been my main character since Melee, so I know the character very well, and yeah, I just, yeah, I just felt like it trained him the best. If uh, character's your main, uh, shouldn't you have trained him the best? Oh, yeah, let's break down um, break down their support spirits real quick. So Palutena, uh, I believe, has... Oh, what does she have? Does she have magic attack, maybe? I don't remember. I do not remember what Palutena has. I'd have to look at that. But Donkey Kong has fist attacks, and oh my god, you just got clapped on. Oh my god. That probably hurt a lot. Ooh, Donkey Kong coming back. Look at first! Donkey Kong! You're looking good right now, bro! Donkey Kong's upset! He wants the... He, Donkey Kong wants the W. Donkey Kong wants to come back. He's like, I need to get back to the championship. Or not necessarily the championship. But he needs to get back. He wants to get to the playoffs and have a rematch with Bowser potentially at some point. Alright, there goes Donkey Kong. Palutena gets one point there at least. But alright, Donkey Kong. That was looking pretty good right there. Oh my god, Donkey Kong, you are nuts! Donkey Kong, you are insane. Bro. Nicely done. Oh man. We well, you know what that means. Four matches down out of the five, which... Well, that leads us to the main event for the night. Losing in week two, that result was considered an upset. But he's back again, so please don't fret. Now let's all say his name aloud. It's Cloud. All right, Cloud is back. So, wow, Cloud got two main event matches in his, well, two matches so far. Uh, here's his stats again, a little bit of enthusiastic weapon attack. And he has undamaged attack, so see if he can take a little bit uh, advantage of that. Otherwise, 828 for, uh, you know, attack-wise in the stat department. And 845 for defensive. Um, yeah, I think Cloud, like I said with Shulk a bit earlier, I think Cloud's something I could, I could maybe... Continue working on a bit more, although uh, I'm still okay with how he's turned out. But uh, he seems to be one of the maybe better amiibos I've had. But hey, he had that he had the uh, upset against Piranha Plant in uh, week two. Piranha Plant beat him, so uh, let's see if Cloud can come back and uh, maybe pick up his first win of the season. This fighter is making his appearance for the first time, so I guess I have to come up with a corny rhyme. In a tale of sword versus fist, here we go again. Let's all welcome Ken. All right, so Ken is the final participant for the season, making his first appearance, well, first fight uh, for the season. So let's break him down. So looks like we got him as a little bit of a quick character, uh, pretty decent, a uh, little bit, uh, I guess you could say above uh, average for uh, for the attack stat, because usually I have that hovering around a thousand. And he's a well below that for defense, but uh, fist attack, fist attack. Yeah, I doubled up on the fist attacks because I <laughs> had two fists, you know, so two fist attacks. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not funny. Don't laugh. Uh, but then also strong throw because uh, you, got some, you got some nice little combos with some throws. So uh, we'll see how Ken turns out in his first fight against Cloud. The main event has been scanned in, so let's get to it and do this again. I didn't mean to rhyme right there, oops. Alright, but here we go. It's Green Hill Zone. Ken, first appearance. Let's see how he goes. So, um, when 
Ryu was first announced. When Ryu was first announced, that was absolutely insane to me. I loved that. You know, for Smash uh, Wii U 3DS DLC, that was incredible. I loved that so much. Uh, Ryu actually became one of my more uh, played, probably a top seven character back in Wii U 3DS. And uh, now that we have Ken, you know, considered by most, if not all, I wouldn't say all, but, you know, most players... Uh, Ken is considered the better version of Ryu because he's a bit quicker and uh, maybe a, co a couple little other things. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's see how this goes. I, I'll be honest. I still prefer using Ryu. Uh, I guess just because I like his character better than Ken. But uh, I, no arguments with Ken. I mean, he was the personification of, well, Echo Fighter. Because, I mean, who, who better to copy somebody else's moveset than Ken from Ryu? Right? Just made sense. So... Yeah, totally fine with that. But, uh, looks like Cloud picked up an early point right there. So, oh, there's the footstool! Cloud wants to come back with a vengeance. Cloud wants to come back with a vengeance. He's like, I lost. I had the upset against, uh, Piranha Plant. I'm, n I'm not doing this again. Oh my god, he connected with that? I thought he was gonna whiff, big time. Omni Slash everywhere. Oh my god, I almost thought he got him. I almost thought he got him. Ken. Uh-oh, Ken. Okay, coming back a bit, coming back a bit. Oh, right through, he missed. Ken trying to get back on stage. Oh, there he goes, Ken's striking back. He at least got one, got one. But Ken's at 75% with only one life left. Cloud's going to be aggressive. We'll see how he does. I know his style didn't say aggressive, but he he is. Uh, the way that he plays, the way that I trained him was a little bit, a little bit more on the aggressive side. Not, you know, 100%, you know, go all out sort of thing. Oh my god, he spiked. Ken, I'm sorry, that was your first match. You didn't stand a chance. <laughs> you didn't stand a chance. Cloud wins. He wanted to come back. He wanted the W. Cloud wants to get to the uh, playoffs, so he's on a good start, on a great start. But that is going to be it. I will have the updated standings for you guys in just one second. All right, guys, here are the updated standings. They are not in order as of right now. I will order them at the very end of the season. But um, here we go. So there's only been a handful of characters that have had uh, multiple matches. And there's only been two characters that have had multiple matches that have won both of them. And those being Bowser, who's sitting at 2-0 with three lives remaining. And Shulk, who just picked up his second win. So he, he is now 2-0 with four lives remaining. So what I mean by tiebreaker, in case uh, you don't quite understand that, very simple. They're both 2-0, Bowser and Shulk. But since uh, Shulk has more lives remaining... Uh, so far in the season with four over Bowser's three Shulk would be the number one seed for the tournament So that's how that would play out and then uh, you can see the other ones here a lot of them one and one uh, Oh and one you, you could see everything but uh, Fairly simple and I will be showing all this stuff, you know pretty much the end of every episode from now on so uh, Here's what you got uh, Yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out everybody